Hey, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Ask Rich. So this episode is a little bit different because it's based on a question that I asked other people. And I asked the question on Instagram and the question that I asked was, coaches, what's stopping you from putting out quality content for your followers and your fans? Uh, One of the people that commented through back and forth discussion, it became evident that this person who is a wonderful coach and a wonderful speaker is feeling a little bit disheartened because he's putting out great content. I mean, great content. And I guess he's coming up with some resistance or people that he's been, you know, pitching services to or uh, looking for speaking gigs or, or coaching opportunities, whatever. And the response that he got was, yeah, your information's good, your, your content is good, but you're not as successful as Tony Robbins and Gary Vaynerchuk, um, Brendan Burchard and Jack Canfield, and you know, the, the greats, I'm talking about the greats, like the people that are just killing it right now. And I guess he's feeling a little bit disheartened because these people are, are telling him that, yeah, his stuff is good, but we're just not going to hire you because you're not Tony Robbins or you're not, you know, one of these other guys, you're not one of the, uh, the, the gurus right now. And if that's you, if, if you're in that same position where you're putting your heart and soul into creating quality content, you're making videos, you're making blog posts, you're, you know, you're hustling out there, you're making it happen, and you're coming up with resistance um, from potential clients, potential clients, all right? And maybe you've heard some nonsense like that, maybe some excuse like that. I got news for you, coaches, speakers, consultants. If anyone hands you a line like that, number one, don't even give it a second thought. That person is not your ideal client. If they're going to tell you that they're not hiring you because you're not one of the greats and you know in your heart of hearts that you're putting your your message out there and that you're giving your absolute best, that person isn't worth a second thought, okay? Number one, they're not your ideal client because your ideal client is going to see it and they're going to recognize the fact that you're able to help them. And if those people can't recognize that, if they can't see that you're someone of value, you're someone who's significant, you're a leader who's going to help guide them, all right, then that's their problem. Don't make that your problem. That is their problem. Do not make that your problem. You focus on the people who love what you do, who value what you do, and the people that are going to pay you for helping them out. Those are the people that deserve your time. Those are the people that deserve your attention and your energy and your focus and your love and your care and your concern, all right, your compassion. Those are the people that deserve the quality content that you put out there. If you're giving it your absolute best and you can sit there and confidently and honestly say, yes, I'm putting the right stuff out there and those people are saying they're naysaying or trying to be a Debbie Downer or, you know, trying to rain on your parade and it's raining out right now. You know, if they're trying to tell you that you're not good enough, screw them. They're not good enough. They're, I'm going to say it again. They are not good enough to work with you and you should be proud that They just saved you time. They just saved you energy. They saved you from wasting any more thought on them because they are not good enough to work with you. And anyone who says otherwise, screw them. I don't care. I'm telling you right now, if you're putting your heart and soul into it and you know that you're delivering quality content and they're going to tell you you're not good enough, nah, not happening. They're not good enough. You focus on the people that love your stuff, the people that love, love, love your stuff because those are the people 
that are going to be happy to work with you. Those are the people that are going to be enthusiastic to pay you every month. Here's your money. Help me out and help me out some more. And I can't wait to sing your praises. Those are the people that deserve your attention. All right? So go out there and find those people. If you need help finding those people, you let me know. Come to my website, thepathofme.com. Shoot me a message, rich at thepathofme.com. And you and I are going to sit down together and you and I are going to focus on what you can be doing to find those right people, to start attracting those right people. That's how I want to help you out. All right, so you shoot me a message, you go to my website, thepathofme.com, and let's, you and I, we're going to sit down together and figure out a game plan because there's no reason that you should be giving attention to those people. You find the right people, and you and I are going to find those right people for you. So thank you for watching Ask Rich as I ask you on this episode and then give you some information about it. All right, thanks and be excellent. Bye-bye.